Hey everybody, this is round three of Pandemic, Reign of Cthulhu. Technically, we're in an alternate reality right now. Uh, we've actually lost this game. The, there was a Shogoth that had gotten summoned, and on the same turn to the university specifically, and when it was summoned, there was a Shogoth move icon, meaning that it moved to this gate. And then at the end of that turn, I drew another summoning card with a Shogoth move icon on it, which is a trigger for the end of the game. That means the Shogoths win. I'm actually okay with losing a game on round two, but I just don't feel like you're getting a really good feel for the game when that happens. So I am playing through as an alternate reality where I judged that the Shogoth was not able to, also, to be summoned and moved all on the same turn, which I think is fair. The rule book, however, I checked, does not have a rule about that. So really, authentically, this game was lost on round two. I am simply resetting reality and saying that that didn't happen. So this is all, this is all alternate parallel, parallel uh, universe stuff right now. Everyone's dead, except in this reality, they're not. So I just have to figure out who's going to go first now. I've got a hunter way over here in Kingsport at the wharf. And she's really good at getting rid of cultists and shogoths. I feel like her priority is going to be this Shogoth sitting on a gate. If I draw a summoning card at the end of her turn and it has the Shogoth moves icon on it, then the game is legitimately over and I will actually end the game. So she needs to get there to get rid of that Shogoth, which she can do in one action. So she has, I think, the ability to do this. She just needs to move to the bus station for one of her actions. She needs to spend a card to go to Arkham, which hurts because she's got a lot of Arkham cards, and I was hoping to spend this card to seal the gate. But I guess spending it on bus fare in order to save what's left of reality is probably worth it. So I've just spent that. So for her second action, she's going to take a bus to any location in the destination town. So she ends up here. She has landed on a space with a Shogoth in it. I forgot to do this last time, because she's already defeated a Shogoth once. When you do that, you have to roll a Sanity die. And I've gotten lucky again and rolled nothing on the sanity die, so she's, she's fine. I mean, she's a hunter. She's seen these creatures before. So she defeats the one as her third action. And I'm, actually, I'm going to retrospectively roll... Wow, I'm just rolling. That's great. Okay, so everything's fine. Uh, I was retrospectively rolling for, that, for the, the Shogoth that she beat like on round one, because she never had rolled for that. Uh, so she's there. She's got one more action left, so I kind of feel like it would be silly to do anything but get rid of this cultist as her fourth action. Okay, so that's that. She will now draw two cards. Innsmouth and Kingsport, okay. Not really sure where we're focusing in on right now at this point. A little bit of Arkham, a little bit of Innsmouth. She's just kind of all over the place. Whereas the Occultist has... Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. So we're... Okay, so Innsmouth and Arkham... That actually... That almost... Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. That's her turn. She's drawn cards. Now we need to do a summoning action. So if there's a Shogoth moves... That means that this whole round was completely worth it because this would have been the end of, wow, look at that, two Shogoth moves. So if, if I hadn't done that, the game would be over. 
Uh, so we're just summoning cultists right now. We're sending one to the university. Maybe a little bit of education will actually sway them from their superstitious ways. Although I guess in this reality, when superstition breaks through a portal, uh, it ceases becoming superstitious. And then the Shogoth moves. There are no Shogoths, so that's good. Cultists have been summoned. Yeah, I think that's it. So now it's the occultist's turn. What will her first action be? She's here. She's got she's got cards that the hunter needs. The hunter's got cards that she needs. I feel like they need to meet up. And I know that the hunter has a silver key. But unfortunately, there's this evil, there's this elder god here who has a new rule on the game which says you cannot play relics out of turn. So the free teleportation relic is of no use to me right now. I do have a warded box that saves us from sanity rolls. I guess, I guess that would have been something to play earlier, but no harm, no foul. So if she wants to meet up with the hunter, she's going to have to just walk, which is a miserable way to get around town. Or she could discard a clue card, but that's kind of the reason she's going to see the hunter, is to give her clue cards. But I think it might just be worth it. So another Arkham clue card discarded. I may regret that. Wait a minute, she's not even on a bus station. Never mind. Yeah, th that that doesn't that doesn't do any good. So okay, so one, two to get to the bus station, three to get there, and then four to trade like one or two cards. It just doesn't seem like it's worth it. I think I'm just gonna have her move one, two, three, four, and then maybe the hunter can meet her up there next round. I don't know. Feeling a little bit lost on this turn, to be perfectly honest. Could she do anything more useful? One, two, three, and then four to get rid of a cultist? I guess she could do that. To what end, I don't know. No, I think they need to meet up. So that's what I'm, that's, this is what I'm settling on. I don't know if it's the best. Um, evil stirs. Not great. Not good. Not what I wanted to see. Okay, so, fight the madness, roll sanity. You know what? Yeah, okay, sure. No, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to just say no. I'm going to say no. Yeah, but this is like until the end of your next turn, players. Oh, end of next turn. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to activate this this box so that she doesn't have to roll sanity. And that's in effect until next round. So that's great. Um, it's, I mean, so it could have been used a little bit better. It could, I could have brought it out. You know, I could have had her go first, brought that out. But I think it's okay. Reveal the next old one. Don't really want to do that. All right. This is Sathagwa. All players collectively discard two cards. Oh, that's not good. I don't want to do that. But that is honestly why I played that. Um, I'm going to have her get rid of an Arkham and an Innsmouth. Oh, that hurts. Two clue cards. And I guess I'm just going to have her discard, I don't know, an Innsmouth and a Kingsport? Or... Oh, that's so annoying. I could have swapped. All right, well, whatever. I feel like that hurt. Okay, uh, and then I don't remember doing that on the... Oh, no, that was... Yeah, okay. Well, I guess the good news is that that's not an, an ongoing rule. That's just... That's a penalty for revealing Sothagwa, Soth and it's over now. But what's not over is that another Shogoth appears. So I need to draw a card from the bottom of the summoning deck. This is at the Historic Inn, and it does have one of those Shogoth moves things on it again. 
Um, so there's the historic inn. I think I, I, it's supposed to move to, to the closest gate, which I, I guess is one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I, th I think it has to head towards Arkham. So it's going to move towards Arkham. Yes, I'm, I'm negating my, my rule of not being able to summon and move at the same time. Because in this case, it doesn't mean I'll lose the game. Um, very selective. And then the cultists regroup. And what that means is that I take the current summoning deck, give it a little bit of a shuffle. There's not a whole lot there to shuffle. Um, I don't know. I'm just really just kind of moving it back and forth. Okay, there we go. That felt like a shuffle. Put it back at the top of the deck. So once again, that means sensitive areas. And there is a very sensitive area here. The boardwalk, uh, if, if I draw another... If I draw a boardwalk, then I don't lose, but I ha I'm instead of adding a fourth cultist, I draw another elder god, which I don't really want to have happen. Pretty bad situation all of a sudden. Not the worst I've seen it, luckily, but pretty bad. We'll see how it goes next round, I guess. Hopefully we'll get these two to regroup themselves trade some cards back and forth maybe to focus in on like actually closing a gate and then get another gate opened because we are we are desperate here this is um this is like what was it round three round four and we've only got one closed gate feel really like I, I lost a lot of momentum there so we'll see what happens next time thanks for watching